um, Grinch Lamp Zero Gaming here, and today we are going to be dug debugging. Sorry, the uh, mystery of Mount Sham. If you guys don't rem remember, there was a bombshell dropped a few days ago about uh, there's being like uh, a mystery in Mount Sham, and that we had never discovered it, and it was in the game, and no one ever found it. Uh, that's not true. You find it on a debtor mission. A lot of people even left it in the comments. Uh, I even liked a few of those because it's true you get do find the uh, pelt and I find my dumb horse always goofing up. But um, I just thought it was really cool that <clears throat> there's a mystery behind it and I like to debug it and solve more. I did find some clues around there that no one else had found, especially one that no one else had found. I'll show you that right now. Um, if I could get my bounty paid off, yeah. Because I really don't want to ride all the way to Strawberry. <sighs> well. Yeah, I know, just kidding. Um, so the first mystery you see is a giant. Uh, I'll show you where that is in a second. But, John, he writes this down in his journal as, uh, what a big man. Um, it's a uh, pretty big, and I even show you as a giant. Or, I think, like... Yeah, giant man or something. Um, it's kind of funny though, because the other day the YouTuber who dropped the bombshell was like, "Hey, look at this guy. Um, <clears throat> you know, there had to be a giant here." So that perfectly adds up with the uh, handprint. Uh, I'll show you. I'm getting to in a second. Anyway, the sundial. This definitely leaves me to think that there's a Native American somewhere um, that left this. I'm trying to put on my compass, but I think it tells time. I think there's four arrows and they're all color coded, so it definitely means probably night, day, dawn, and dusk, most likely. Um, you tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, <clears throat> yeah, going back to that giant, because I think that's the most funniest part. Is like everything just adds up. Uh, we're gonna keep looking for clues around here, but um, probably without further ado, uh, let's get into that cave. And you know, just has explore down there and see what happens. Okay, guys, and now it is for the mo time for the truth. It's time to go into the safe. Let's get our lantern and let's go explore this cave. Um, so what? There's not really any sounds when I went down there, so I'm just gonna read my theories off, I guess, and I'll just show you guys the cave. Um, I guess. I'll point out some things as we go down. That's about it. There's some blood right here and that kid's satchel. We went down and there's his hat farther down. So anyway, here are the three theories. So, um, one of the YouTubers said, yeah, it was a giant. That hand, that bloody hand. So what I think it was is the cougar, the white pelted cougar that used to live down here attacked him. Um, maybe the giant fought, maybe like hurt it so the cougar went it's out of the way and the guy crawled out of the cave leaving some blood marks behind as he's trying to crawl out you know leaning for cover he was hurt so he's trying to crawl out of the cave you know leaning on walls to keep him up and he made it out of the cave but his injuries killed him later as he was trying to get home um another theory is that um well the bones were probably left the bone all the bones were here so we definitely the coyote ate bones also i don't know if you guys see these stone pillars in here um, they're kind of like the ones that actually Devil's Cave, so he could have been here too. But I think it's like, I think it's like a Native American thing, because there's are because there are pictographs down here. Um, so they could have been eating animals before the coyote showed up, or maybe during the epilogue they showed up. Um, my other theory, like to tack on to that, is that. Um, the coyote ate all the bones too, cause we saw that, and even the, um, guy, he, even he said, you know, it's notorious for eating humans and other huge prey, and either prey could have wandered down here and he ate it. Um, I guess the second thing, uh, really is, so there's some more pictographs, there's a, gonna be a body pit down here somewhere. Uh, I guess the third and final kind of thing is, there were miners down here. Maybe because there's like a pickaxe or something, and all that good stuff. And there's some like see this little man-made hole right here. So there's miners down here, and maybe they got attacked, and 
the uh, same thing kind of ties into the first theory. Maybe the giant was trying to get out of just a giant miner. I don't know, the strong man who, you know, puts the mine carts or carries up the cargo. I don't really know. Um, now, that being said, um, if that blood was truly f fresh, the um, carcasses nearby would, it, would like... I guess they'd be like whiter. A lot of them are all covered in dust, and they're all dusty, and they look pretty old. Um, and that blood, I mean, blood looks fresh all the time. I'll show you, I have to go myth, I'm a myth buster after this, we're going to take a nice trip to Valentine. Um, but here's where I'll show you the, um, the whole massacre scene, I guess, what you want to call it. So here's all that, I think this is where the giant was attacked. Uh, I think he flung back the coyote to the wall, and there's his... I'll show you guys the handprint when I come back up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as you guys can see on that wall, that handprint right there. Uh, you can see the blood on the wall. When I turn the other way, I think it'll go white. Because it's like, it turns colors. I, I think that's just because of the reflection. Uh, I really can't tell why. And then here's the blood pit. Now, see that? I mean, there is blood, but some of it doesn't match like where it is. So it's like under. Um, I could, you could either infer that this is left from when the um, debtor got attacked down here. Um, cause remember he took the right side, you took the left side, and he got attacked and you didn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure you still could have died if you didn't get to him in time. But yeah, that's it. So, um, the cave's not really, like creepy. So here where we are on the map. Um, just follow that road in. If you want to, I already showed you where anything is. So, where everything, all the Easter eggs are. Anyway, so yeah, I left you guys all the uh, locations, I think, on the map. Uh, please comment if you want to be specified any location, and I can add that in probably. Um, this probably will be a revisit at some point, because I still like to explore the mountain and see if I can find any other cool things about it. So, you guys do know my theories, I guess, and yeah. So we're gonna take we're gonna a strawberry and and then I'm just gonna recap on the way as we go. So I think w what we can like focus on is yes, there was blood. Um, was it fresh? Probably not. Um, we don't really know. Um, I didn't get any like weird vibes when I went down there. Um, so I didn't really see a lot of that. I didn't hear anything. I think you guys were kind of listening in. Uh, yeah, sorry for my chatter. Um, actually, I'd like to take a second and just thank everybody for my su for the support. Um, please subscribe if you guys want to see more secrets, uh, funny moments, because I'm bringing one of those out as a pilot, and more cool secrets. And I'm uh, going to there's a bombshell sometime here in the future. A really cool secret I found. Um, and yeah, subscribe and turn your notifications if you guys want to see that. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's take the uh, ride into town. Um, so going back to that, yeah, sorry, um, so we have, so I think there are Indians definitely living down there at one point in history, so to recap, we have the sundial, um, let's see, we also have, uh, the bones, uh, we have the pillars in the cave, and that, and you have the pictographs, so the drawings in the cave, um, so that can be it. Um, there weren't any fire pits I noticed down there, so it kind of points to that being some kind of like, I don't really understand that, but maybe they just got so disheveled. Um, like my grand theory, like a timeline thing, is the Indians were there, um, some miners came and kicked them out, the cougar came in, attacked them, and the giant was the one who escaped his life, the other miners got eaten, and then the giant later died of his injuries. That's it. Anyway, so if you guys see the blood on the ground, yeah, changing topics, the serial killer, the body was hanged right here on this bridge, first thing you see when you go to Valentine, and first kind of serial killer thing you see in um, Red Dead Redemption, once you come down from the mountains. Uh, see how this blood, I mean, it doesn't look that fresh, but it kind of looks like the one in the cave, and that one has been there eight years plus. So, that definitely means that that's kind of debugged, and yeah, so I think I've kind of like debugged this for the most part. There's a secret down there, for sure, but I don't think it has anything to do with aliens, anything supernatural. I think it's just common sense and a timeline. 
Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm sure we're going to discover more. Uh, Easter eggs pop up every day. Um, and, yeah. Uh, if you have any secrets you guys like for me to check out, please leave them in the comments. But, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And, like I said before, um, please subscribe and help me out. So, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching.